Hey everybody, this is Christopher Marsh. How you doing? So, I know there is a lot going on. There's a lot going on today. The Black Lives Matter movement and struggling to, uh, you know, get equal rights for all races and all that stuff. I know, I know, and I know it's a really big deal, but I want to say something about people that have mental illness. There's millions of people out there struggling with mental illness every day. Millions. There's about 50 million people in the U.S. diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. And I have OCD. And it's a very troubling, very difficult, very uh, infuriating disease to live with. And it's not some cutesy little quaint, cute thing like Monk or What About Bob, even though it's a good movie or other stuff like that. It's a real horrible, rotten disease. And a lot of people that have it also have depression. And for some reason in our society people still think it's okay to make fun of people who are mentally ill. They still think it's okay to just brush people like us under the rug or brush them aside or push them aside and and or, or discriminate against them. And I've been discriminated against based on my mental illness by white people and black people. So it's a real serious issue. And, uh, and you know, we, uh, you know, people that suffer from mental illness, we're human beings too. We have feelings. We have emotions. We have rights too, and it hurts just as much being discriminated against based off your mental illness as it does being based off race. Because, like race, we didn't choose to be mentally ill. We didn't choose to have depression or schizophrenia or bipolar or mag depression or borderline personality disorder. We didn't choose that. No one chooses to be mentally ill. And sure, you know, maybe somebody flips the light switch on and off 20 times. Or maybe they wash their hands too much. Or maybe they, you know, repeat things a lot. But, you know, it's just, you know, like a little, you know, glitch in the brain. It's just like, you know, bad synapses firing off. It doesn't make us less human. It doesn't mean that we're fucked up. We're not freaks. We're human, just like everyone else. And people with mental illness need to be treated the same way. And you know, If you see someone struggling or wondering what their deal is, you know, maybe you could talk to them and say, hey, what's wrong or what's the matter or, you know, like, hey, you want to hang out, hang out with us for a while or something? You know, because... <sighs> 
we have feelings too. And it hurts. It hurts being alienated. And it really hurts when you feel like you can't go outside and go to places because you're scared that your OCD will trigger you or get you to repeat yourself or if you have a panic attack it hurts and a lot of us we don't like to go out and we don't like socializing very much or being social because we don't want to have to deal with the stigma of people looking at us like we're crazy or acting like we're a freak or being shut out or being made fun of or people saying well that guy's got multiple personalities or well he's a whack job or whatever you know it really hurts and being called crazy and people calling you crazy when you're mentally ill hurts just as much as calling a black guy a nigger or calling a Jewish guy a kike. It really hurts. We can't help that we have mental health issues. And sometimes we freak out. Sometimes we get a little scatterbrained. Sometimes we have panic attacks. But that's just something we have to live with. You know? And everybody's talking about social isolation and social distancing and having a big cow because they have to stay inside for a month. Well, big fucking deal. Try isolating yourself for years because you're scared that people are going to judge you or treat you like you're some kind of freak. You know, try that. If you're freaking out because you have to stay home for a month, then I think you, you're you pretty goddamn lucky. Because you, you don't have to face the reality of, of being ridiculed or being brushed aside or people talking bad about you. You know, you're pretty lucky. But that... You know, that that possibility is something that we with mental illness have to live with every day. And that's why when everybody was talking about social distancing, it was kind of funny. Because it's like, oh yeah, I've been social distancing for years. And it's it's not easy. It's not easy living with mental illness and taking different kinds of medication and hoping some of them will work and and finding the right therapist or the right psychiatrist, you know, it's, it's not easy dealing with that. It's, it's really tough. And all that we're really looking for is some understanding. We're looking for some compassion and some understanding so we don't get stigmatized you know because not everyone with a mental illness is a whack job or a maniac or a lunatic or crazy you know and we want we want our voices to be heard too we we want to make a big difference too we want to be recognized for our suffering too, you know, we we want equality too. We want to be treated the same way too. We don't want to just be thought of as as loonies or or wackos or maniacs or whatever. You know, we're human beings too, and uh, our our rights are just as important as anyone else's rights, and. Uh, you know, but, you know, and psychology's come a long way. It's come a really long way, and and that's good, and people are seeing therapists, and 
the the whole stigma of seeing a shrink or seeing a psychologist is not as bad as 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 it used to be so yeah we've made a lot of progress but there's still a long ways to go and um, so you know when when I watch these Black Lives Matter protests and so there are demonstrations going on and, and I'm really, really glad they're doing that and, and it's beautiful and it's awesome. But, but you know, um, everyone deals with mental illness. It doesn't matter what race you are or what, you know, gender you are or your economic status or whatever. Everybody, everyone has to deal with it. And, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of celebrities who've had to deal with it, like uh, you know, like Robert Downey Jr. and Winona Ryder and Woody Harrelson and uh, you know other other people like that. There's there's lots of people who have to live with mental illness and so it's uh, it's a big deal and I just you know and 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 there's lots of people who have been shot killed by police who have mental illness because you know, maybe they're freaking out or having a panic attack or something and and somebody calls the cops and the cops aren't trained to handle mental health. They're not trained to handle mental illness, so so things escalate and they shoot them. And a lot of autistic people have been shot by the police and and uh, you know, and a lot of uh, people with other disorders have been shot, and uh, it's it's a big it's a big fucking deal. And um, and our society still thinks it's okay to just kind of brush those people off and act like they're crazy, blah blah blah, and and it's stupid. Um, so. But it's it's important, and it's important that people talk about mental illness, and it's also important that people talk about suicide and and being suicidal and stuff. And you know, people who are suicidal, they want to hear from somebody who understands. Yeah, they want to have some compassion. They want to feel like they're like they belong, like like their lives are just as important as everyone else's, or or that they matter just as much as everyone else. And a lot of times, people can't afford psychiatrists or psychologists, so they resort to you know alcohol and drugs and other things to try to, you know, curb their, uh, you know, problems. Um, so, it's, it's important, and, and people need to recognize how, how important it is. So, yeah, and so I, I just wonder, you know, when 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 is somebody going to speak for us? You know when when are we going to have our big marches? When when are when is there going to be a big march for for mental health? You know when when are we going to be recognized as as being you know a big important part of society you know when 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 are when are people going to march for for our 
equal rights and ending of stigmatization, you know. When? And, you know, sometimes when people, you know, they go on shooting sprees or whatever, it's it's because, you know, they tried and they tried to get help and people just pushed them away and, and they ignore them and they push them away and they, they don't do anything. So, I just want to say that, you know, um, the people with mental illness is lives matter the, the, the mentally ill matter mental health matters people struggling with mental health matter and um, our society is never going to be truly equal until you know those of us with mental illness are treated with the same amount of respect and equality as everyone else. So when you're watching the news and seeing the demonstrations or you're protesting or whatever, just just want you to think about all of that. Because it's important so yeah and I uh, I hope uh, I hope I've uh, been able to uh, enlighten you and teach you some things and broaden your horizons because mental health matters <laughs>